So we recently picked up a 1949 Chevy Deluxe. So today I'm gonna spend just a little bit of time on cleaning out the trunk, maybe trying to pull the seats out and vacuuming what I can, and then maybe ripping up what is left of the carpet slash floor panels. The floor panel that I will be trying to maybe tear out. Not sure. Depends on what my husband tells me I need to do with it. Here are the seats. They look like they're bolted down somewhere. Down there. And maybe if you'll help me, I can take this back seat out as well. Looks like it's full of years of dirt and debris and maybe clean all this out looks like it's part of the engine in the truck so I'm going to get started and take all this stuff out of the trunk put it in this tractor bucket and take to the building over there I'll be right back Okay, so I have found in the trunk of this car, like, some push, rod, push rods, motor mounts, clutch, and miscellaneous parts from our 49 Chevy that let me say that we are going to keep all this stuff, but we definitely are not using this. I'm trying to talk him into an LS motor for this car. So we will keep this. These are the lifters, I think. I'm not sure. Yes, those are the lifters. So I'm going to keep all this stuff because sure enough, if I throw it away, we will have to have it. But I'm just going to put it all in a box and just to have it in case because this car will not be back original. This is going to be more like um, what you would call like, I guess, a rat rod. So, yeah, just thought I would throw Hi. that in there. Finally got the trunk cleaned out. So now I'm going to try to vacuum some of this up and maybe get this floor rubber mat thing down. So we'll see how this goes. So I removed this spare tire and lo and behold, what do you have? Rust. Rusty, rusty, rusty. So, not sure what to do next. Maybe I should go get my husband. Maybe he should tell me what I need to do. Okay, since my husband wasn't able to come out and help me or tell me what next I needed to do, I'm just gonna move on to vacuuming out the inside of the car. Um, there's a lot of spider webs and just loose particles that I'm gonna try to get up. So I'll. If you want to follow me over here and watch me, that would be great. Um, trying to make this video and it seems like it's very popular here at HP Engines today. So my daughter Bailey is behind the camera. So um, she's gonna probably just do like a five second clip of me vacuuming because we all know vacuuming is like watching paint dry. You just, it's the same. So there I go. I'm not sure, um, since it's just after Christmas, I'm not sure that we will get to um, get them upholstered right away. But I feel like when we get this back seat out, we will be able to see what kind of damage we got underneath there. It's a 1949 Chevy, so probably we'll have to have new floor pins. Definitely some new carpet. Uh,
should be probably to take the seats out, but we're not going to do that because that's just not what we're going to do. So we're going to pull the carpet out and then we're going to pull the trunk like bed in like the it's like a bed mat, but it's for the trunk. So I guess like a trunk mat. Okay. So I'm going to try to just see if I can get it up with my bare hands. If not, I'm going to go in and get some type of like razor knife, razor blade, something like that. So. And then I guess at this point we would be able to assess the damage and to see like how much rot we actually have. And it seems like it's not really that hard to pull up. But yeah, that wasn't hard at all. Hmm. Okay. So it looks like it's just a bunch of mold underneath. So I'm going to try to vacuum once again and see, um, I don't know if we take that out or not. We probably can take it out. We're going to take it out. Should we have taken this out? I feel like we should have. Not really sure. Maybe an earwig. What we call them here in North Carolina. Kind of get in your mailbox. But these are white and I've only seen black ones. So I'm not real sure. Oh my God. So. Probably we'll just vacuum those little suckers up. to do is going to be take the airline and blow blow just you know the trunk out and maybe um the ins maybe the inside so i'm gonna wear my handy dandy mask safety first me to go so I guess we're done with that step here we are driving the tractor putting all these dead ass parts in the graveyard of parts over here one in trailer number C or trailer letter C.
Should we keep them? Mm-hmm. For now. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Yep. But, uh, I'll do that Saturday now. Done All right. right. We won't have to do much, you know. Yeah, I know. Now, I'm hoping, yeah, yeah, I just, I, I don't know if you can just pull a vacuum on and see how the valves seal. They seal good, just, just melt them. Yeah. yeah. can go actually a long way today we did manage to get the carpet ripped out the trunk cleaned out the um like the trunk like bed liner type stuff and put some new wheels and tires on the car so with the help of my husband because some of these were really, really rusty and trying to use the jack um, was kind of sketchy. So, yeah, that's all we got done today. <laughs>